may notice that you're experiencing sleep difficulties during this time of the pandemic. This is very common in situations of stress and when our schedules have been changed or altered. So please know that you are not alone. Hi, I'm Tracy Neal Walden, Clinic Director and Clinical Health Psychologist at the Cohen Clinic at Easter Seals. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes talking to you about sleep difficulties and give you a few tips that you can use on your own to help better manage your sleep. First, let's talk a little bit about sleep. In times of stress or uncertainty, oftentimes our sleep is impacted. You may find that you're sleeping more, sleeping less, or you may have interrupted sleep, which may affect your ability to manage stress or daily activities. Sleep is one of our most basic human needs, just like food and water. It allows our body time to restore and repair cells and tissues and helps us to function effectively. So it's very important to our overall health and well being. When our sleep is disturbed and we do not get sufficient sleep or good sleep quality, it can affect our emotional as well as physical health. You may feel sad or depressed, anxious, irritable um, when not getting enough sleep. In addition, lack of proper sleep may result in attention and concentration difficulties, resulting in mistakes at work, and it can worsen chronic health conditions. So to better manage, these sleep difficulties and our overall sleep quality, there are eight key tips or small changes in your behavior that are helpful for getting a good night's sleep. First, start by creating a comfortable sleep environment. Make sure that the room that you're sleeping in, that the temperature is comfortable, adjust it if you can. You may need to open a window. You may need to add an additional blanket or take a blanket off. Second, avoid eating a heavy meal prior to bedtime. You also, you don't wanna to go to bed hungry either. So if you are, eat something light, but not something that's going to take a while for your body to metabolize, and then it may keep you up. Number three, exercise. Exercise is important for our overall health and well-being. However, exercising too close to bedtime can affect your body's natural ability to fall asleep. It takes a while for our core body, core temperature to cool down after exercise. So you want to ensure that you're not exercising within approximately two to three hours before bedtime. Light stretching prior to bedtime is, is a great technique, but strenuous exercise, you wanna leave that for a little bit earlier in the day. Number four, avoid alcohol use at bedtime. Alcohol may make you feel sleepy and it may aid in you falling asleep. However, it doesn't uh, result in quality sleep and prolonged sleep. So you want to eliminate an evening nightcap or, or drink prior to going to bed. In addition, number five, you also want to decrease nicotine use before bedtime. Um, now, I'm not telling anyone to, to quit tobacco right now um, because you may have a lot of things going on in your life. However, nicotine use, um, nicotine is a stimulant and it may keep you up at night. And so you want to limit your um, nicotine use before bedtime. You also want to limit caffeine usage. This is tip number six. Um, caffeine, also a stimulant. Take a look at all of the ways in which you get caffeine into your system throughout the day. Um, oftentimes, caffeine is in a lot of the beverages that we drink. So teas, sodas, coffee, you want to limit those in quantity and in the time that you consume them. And so you don't want to have caffeinated beverages after lunchtime if you're having difficulty falling asleep. 
So definitely take a look at your caffeine intake. Tip number seven, leave your worries behind. Now that may be easier said than done, but a good strategy for doing so is to, to start a, a journal or to use um, the notepad on your phone and jot down the things that you're concerned about so then you can attend to them the next day. Laying in bed, worrying about the various stressors and things that are going on in your life is, is not going to help you in terms of sleep quality, and it's probably not going to change the situation. But if you write them down, then you can get back to them later on. And then number eight, establish a routine prior to bedtime. So a pre-sleep winding down routine. Oftentimes our lives are busy, 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 and then, or you may be at home during the pandemic and your life is maybe kind of sedentary, um, and then you just go to bed. So you want to have a winding down routine. That routine could include, you know, reading before bedtime, a shower before bedtime, um, a, a leisurely walk before bedtime, but something to get your body and your mind ready for sleep. I encourage you to try these eight small changes in your behavior um, and see what a difference it makes in your sleep. I'm really glad that you're focused on your self-care right now. And if you'd like additional tips on how to improve your sleep, please look at some of the other videos that are in our series on sleep. Thank you and have a great day.